making the steel kill. Okay. So look, you're making the steel kill. Yes, let him be. When he comes to the house, when his pastors, things are following him. I never had peace. When I sit down, I always be thinking that somebody may come and look for me. They want to catch me or I'm stealing somebody's thing. I've made him useless. He don't want to work for me, the chairman of my family. Oh, you're the chairman of the family. But destroy everybody. Destroy him. Let him uh -huh. be. What have you done to his career? I've made him useless. Everything he tried to do will not succeed in life. What have you done to his career? I've made him one away from what he was doing. I've made him to destroy everything. To destroy what? Like I'm what? him to steal, kill. Okay. So look, you make him to when steal, he kill. Yes, let him be. Let why? Him be. Why did you choose to do that? Because he's mine. I want him to serve me. I want him to serve okay, me. Okay, you want him to serve yes. you. He was given to me by his father. His mother and his Okay, uh, he was given to you by his father. Yes. Okay, what have you done to his career? Destroy everything that he do. His family? His family. Frustrated. There is no love in the family. Who is the cause of all this? I make them to go apart. Me. So you are the I cause? Did. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never again enter him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Citizen of heaven. My name is Awasum Bless Caleb. I'm from Moyoka. The people next to me, this is my elder brother, and that's my junior sister. The problem that brought me to the Ark of God Covenant Ministry, the spirit of stealing, addiction to smoking, masturbation, and lust. The spirit has disturbed me for nine years. It started with the spirit of smoking when I was still in Form 2. So I had my friends in school usually go out during break. One day we went for the break and they were smoking cigarettes, so they asked me to taste it with them. I refused at first then. They insisted that the thing does not cause any harm in the body, it's just to keep yourself together. So I took it from them and I smoked it. From that day, I've been smoking till up to before the deliverance from the man of God. Et il dit que cet esprit d'addiction à la cigarette a beaucoup tourmenté sa vie parce que lorsqu'il était en cinquième, pendant la pause, il ne consommait pas la cigarette, mais il était en compagnie de certains gosses de son âge qui lui ont proposé de consommer la cigarette. Lui aussi, il a goûté et il a consommé. So, for how long have you been smoking? I've been smoking for nine years, man of God. Nine years? Yes, man of God. And if I don't smoke, it's as if I'm not myself. I will look for every means to to get them the cigarette or any other, because I smoke not only cigarette, many different drugs. Il dit qu'il consomme la cigarette depuis 9 ans. Il dit que chaque fois qu'il ne consomme pas la cigarette, il ne se sent pas bien, il n'est pas à l'aise et qu'il doit chercher tout moyen, toutes les alternatives pour consommer la cigarette. I started with cigarettes. Later on, I went and smoked um, what they call Thailand. I was smoking um, even Kayo. I took gum, this 99 gum. We usually took it and inhale it too. Then there's one drug, um, Tramador. I also took that one. Il nous dit que pour se mettre à l'aise, il consommait tout type de drogue. And when I smoke like that, it gives me the courage. Even when my mother or my elder brothers they are talking to me, it seems as if they are just pouring water on a desk back. Because I, I will not listen to them. What I want to do, that's what I will, I will do. Il nous dit qu'il consommait la drogue, tout type de drogue pour se mettre à l'aise, avoir le courage pour affronter les gens et lutter. Il dit que même à la maison, Lorsque sa maman, ses parents voulaient le conseiller, c'est comme si on parlait au vent. Ils ne comprenaient rien. So, as I was smoking like that, it, it involves me in several activities like stealing. I start stealing people's things, stealing our neighbor's gas bottle, plantains, purse, phone, etc. Just to get money to go and smoke. Then when I steal like that, I went and sold, sell the properties like... When I use the money to smoke and the money got finished, I have to go back to the person that I sold the property to and double deal the person. I took the thing to sell it to another person 
just to get more money to go and smoke again. Et il dit que s'il vend quelque chose, à, ah, il va retourner chez Apoan pour aller vendre à B. C'est comme ça qu'il faisait. Then you say something to somebody, yes, man and you go back to the person, yes, man of God. and do what? And the would deal the person and collect the item that I sold to the person. And the smoking, it gave me the spirit of anger. Like when I was in Form 3, I strangled, I strangled one of my classmates until he almost gave up due to the, the smoking. Because we, after break, we went and smoked. We came back inside the class. My friend realized that there was a knife inside the student's back. So he went and took the knife, asking that, what are you doing with knife inside the, the school compound? The boy and I just went with anger and dragged the knife. Suddenly, he injured my friend. So I, so I was very angry. I just left. I went to my back. I had one chain that they usually put like this. I went and moved the chain. So as we were quarreling with the boy, before he knew it, I've already hooked the chain on his neck. I struggled it on, on see. It was even my friend that come, um, come and calm me down that I should allow it. Immediately, I released the chain. The guy fell down and he was very weak. Alors notre frère continue en disant qu'une fois à l'école, il a fallu étrangler un de ses amis avec une chaîne parce que cet ami avait pris un couteau, il avait blessé un de ses amis, il était tellement en colère à cause de cet esprit de vol et l'addition de cigarettes qui était en lui. And not only that, when I like when I smoke, what I do if there's any weapon around me like cutlass, knife or bottle, I will take that and push the person. If I meet the person, I must injure him. Still with my friends, we usually go out to on weekend like Saturday and Sunday to drink at the roadside. So we had we had girlfriends. So he introduced me to one native doctor that the native doctor will give me something that will protect me and give me. A uh, witch doctor. Yes, sir. That you give me everything that I need. So we went there to see the witch doctor. The witch doctor now sent him outside that should stay with him one on one. He said, "I'm welcome. That all my problems are." That he knows everything that I'm going through, that, but I, I should not bother. Where I've come today is the, is the right place and everything will be fine. He gave me some um, concussion, some powder that I should lick it. I took it and I licked the powder. He also sent me that I should come back the next day. He asked me to go and look for a frog. This um, frog. I went and bought the frog. He gave me another medicine that I should bury it where no one will see me. So I took it now and I buried it where no one will see me. Where I put, I buried the frog. I had to plant a stick there so that I will not forget the place. He said that on the third day I should go and check if that frog is still there. Means that the thing, that, the medicine will not work. The charm will not work. But if the frog is not there, therefore um, the charm will work successful. Dans ce désir, il allait chez un marabout. Lorsqu'il est arrivé chez ce marabout, ce marabout l'a fixé dans le droit, dans les yeux. Il lui a dit qu'il connaît tous ses problèmes, qu'il ne s'inquiète pas, qu'il va résoudre. Ses problèmes, ce marabout lui a donné un charme, il lui a donné une poudre, il lui a, aussi donné, il lui a demandé d'aller chercher la grenouille et enterrer cette grenouille, que si trois jours après, il vient, il ne trouve pas cette grenouille, ça veut dire que ce charme va travailler pour lui. Et s'il revient et trouve cette grenouille, cette charme, ce charme, autant pour moi, ne va pas travailler pour lui. Je sais que ce sont les charmes que le docteur doctor gave me. Je sais que c'est maintenant que mon père, mon père et même certains de mes amis savent que j'ai quelque chose comme ça. Vous avez entendu ce qu'il This one, he gave me that I should use, like, I should apply the powder inside my rubbing oil. So I had to cut my oil and put it here. That whenever I want to go out, I should apply it on my hand and rub my face. Any girl that I see on the way, I should, when that I have interest to, I should talk to the girl and the girl must accept. So I've been doing that with many girls. And when I have sex with a girl, if, you, if the girl is lucky, I'll have sex with her three times. But if she's not lucky, just one time and I'll drive her away. He said that Marabou lui a donné cette poudre de mélanger dans son lait de toilette et que chaque fois qu'il devait sortir, il devait essuyer cela sur son visage et que chaque fille qu'il devait côtoyer, qu'il devait rencontrer en route, cette fille devait l'accepter sans même réfléchir et chaque fois qu'il devait avoir les rapports intimes avec ses filles, sans même ce que ses filles s'en rendent compte. And any girl that I sleep with using this charm, the girl become wayward, stubborn and even doing even worse things that I was doing. Can you see What Satan is doing? Move closer to God. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. If you really want to enjoy the full privilege of being part of God's family. Like I met one girl, she was a Christian before I met her, so 
I tried using this charm on her. She she was playing. She was claiming to be strong. So unfortunately, I invited her one day to I take her out. I gave her drinks. When we drank together, I took her to the house and I had sex with her. Since then, she has she she has never even wanted to hear the name of going to church or and she has been stubborn to the family. Now she even smokes cigarettes, smoke even Indian hemp too. That is Christian by profession, but not such in heart. One can be a Christian in profession, but not such in heart. This other charm, the native doctor gave me for protection and powers. Like where we are in a ghetto smoking, where we usually go and smoke. This happened like this, um, there's a curtain inside. So he asked me whenever I want to go out, I should use this curtain and I, I should make sure that it's always tied in a black wrapper. I should use this curtain and just touch more this liquid. Then I tied it back and put it inside my wallet before going out. I had one chain, but I, I, um, I cannot find the chain right now after the prayer. So he gave me this thing. Whenever we are in the ghetto smoking, if there is any police or any military person coming around to inside the ghetto, I will have the instinct, I have the feelings that danger is around. Like this one, my the, if the wallet is at this leg, I'll be feeling as if the leg is itching seriously inside. When I just left the place immediately, not even up, up to five minutes, I will just hear the news that um, some policemen came and arrested um, some of the boys. Even right now, I'm talking to you, some some of the boys that they were arrested when we were together smoking, they are still at the Boya Central Prison there. When I go out to steal, if the person or the owner of the thing that I want to steal is around, I will know through the charm, and it will make me to quickly escape before the arrival of the person. All my life, I've never been locked up into the cell, but when I misplaced the chain, like, I went to Moyoka, I had to steal from my neighbor. I, to I stole her gas bottle, and I, st I stole the gas bottle. No one knew that I was the one who took the gas bottle, so I went and stole the gas bottle. It was when now I went to double deal the person. Due to that, I was not holding none of this, my, the charms and the chain. So they had to catch me and take me to the cell. They locked me. I was locked up there. Like this, for the spirit of masturbation, it started still in Woyoka. I went to one stream and I met a guy masturbating himself. So I was there watching at the guy. After looking at the guy until when he's done, I left. I went home. At night, I went to, I went to sleep. So I had a dream. I saw myself masturbating myself also. I wake up the first time. I slept back again. I saw myself having sex with a woman on, on a, in the dream. So after then, since then, I've always having that, the edge of masturbating myself. Even if the girls, they are not around, I'll masturbate myself. Alors, il dit encore que par rapport à l'esprit de masturbation, un jour, il allait à l'école, il a vu un ami qui était en train de se masturber. C'est comme cela que ça a généré aussi l'esprit de la masturbation en lui. Chaque fois qu'il dormait, il devait avoir les couches de nuit, mais depuis lors, depuis sa délivrance, il n'a plus de désir à de se masturber. Il a changé. I had to leave Moyoka because of what I was doing there, and and my family is not having money. Whenever they give me like my school fees, I always I don't. If I have to pay my school fees, I will pay, but one one quarter of the money, then the rest I will use it to smoke. I will use it to chase women, go out for clubbing. So I had to. My family was not having enough money to continue my school. I had to leave Moyoka and come to Boya to look for something to do. I was doing nursing, so I had to steal money from one. One of the patients, the patient brought money for the hospital. He used some of money. So I, I had to steal the money and left the, I left my 16. So when I stole the money like that, the person that I stole the money from, he caught me and took me to um, the brigade here in Boya. So I pleaded with him. I told him that I came here just to come and seek the face of God because my life is, is going backward. I don't really understand what's wrong with me. He asked me that to seek the face of God, how? I said, I want to see the man of God, Apostle John Chi. So he, asked, he said, that, am I sure that that's the purpose that I came to Boya? I said, yes. He talked with the, with the officer that was there on duty, and I had to call my in-law. The boy said that he would allow me to go, to go and see the man of God. Notre frère nous dit que la personne qui avait, chez qui il avait volé cet agent, l'a amené à, à brigade, et cet homme lui a demandé pourquoi c'est qu'il est venu faire à Boya. Il a dit qu'il était venu pour chercher la face. Et je par rapport à sa situation, qu'il était venu pour rencontrer le serviteur du Japon, John Chi. Et cet homme lui a dit que s'il devait venir ici, après cela, il devait retourner son argent. Sinon, il devait le rejeter en cellule. Il a dit que je devais venir ici, 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 et c'est comme ça que je suis venu ici. 
and I was fortunate to find myself in the prayer line by the grace of God. And after then, I never knew what happened to me. The man of God was praying to everybody at the prayer line there. When he approached me, I feel like there is a heat around me, so I had to run. But the ushers there, they hold me that I should stand there. So when the man of God was praying, I never knew what happened. I only realized myself on the floor and my dresses were dirty. And I was delivered, so I had to stand. It's after my deliverance, now I'm feeling, I'm feeling like being, I'm a real born again, like my mother has delivered me again, and all the stress, all what, what I was going through, thinkingness, I nev I'm not thinking of all those things again. So I don't do what I usually do in the past, like smoking, stealing, masturbation. I don't do all those things again. Citizen of heaven, I'm called Ayaka Charles. I live in Yaoundé. This is my junior brother and my daughter there. This is a great day for the family. We have been, re we are relieved. I want to thank God, I will thank the man of God for this deliverance. Because he has not only delivered my junior man, he has delivered the whole family. Notre frère dit qu'il vient de Yaoundé, à côté de lui c'est son frère cadet, ensuite sa fille. Il dit que la délivrance de son petit frère s'est transcendée dans la famille entière parce que son fils est un atout. Son petit frère autant pour moi est un atout pour la famille et que cette délivrance a apporté un soulagement, un grand soulagement dans la famille. The truth is that this young man standing here, had it been, I, was not, I wasn't a Christian, I could have strangled him because he was there. I even came in the house, I took a matchet, but I looked for him. He just went out. Because anytime he discovered I'm coming to Mayoka, he will almost stay in the house. He's gone. After destruction, a lot of things, because when he comes to the house, it's just like when he's passing, things are following him. You know, it's terrible because we have never seen it, and it was, it, it was not like that. So I was, I'm just like saying that the spirit that was in him has blocked the whole family because the rate of smoking that he was, he was smoking, drinking, not only drinking, he was smoking banger. Taking strong alcohol, you know, all of us were so afraid that he can do something. Just to my mother. And... Il ajoute encore que à cause du comportement de son frère, ils avaient peur qu'un jour son frère pouvait commettre une chose impieuse à la maison parce qu'il consommait le chanvre indien, tout type de drogue, et il est le dernier. Ils avaient constamment peur parce qu'il se disait qu'il pouvait même tuer quelqu'un à la maison. The deliverance that took place last two Sundays has come a long way for this family because. Everything was being tied up. All of us, there was confusion. There's, there's no peace in our house. There's no love among me and my junior brothers and my junior sisters. There was this, always this tension, 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 tension. So after this deliverance, we have discovered a lot of change among us, the brothers in the house. My junior man has even gotten a visa and he has gone to America. <laughs> For him, now he doesn't smoke again. And uh, I've seen him He's having a new look because he's always shabby, very dirty. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing him today with a nice dress, good looking. I want to thank the man of God for all what he has done in his life. Thank God for what God has done in his life. Et je remercie le Dieu par rapport à ce que le Seigneur a fait dans la vie de son petit frère et il retourne toute la magnificence à l'éternel. My name is Fobang Abigail. And the people standing beside me, yes, my father and my brother. My brother was very stubborn. At times when he would come to the house, my father would call me and say, as he can, please be looking at him oh, so that he will know oh, mommy and strangle her to take money. About the smoking, uh, when he has smoked, as he's coming, that's how the younger ones are running. One time my younger one was sick. He came, he gave him um, tramadol. That's how they huh? start. Your younger one was sick? Yes. And he gave him what? Tramadol. <laughs> Elle dit qu'un jour, un de ses soeurs était malade et son frère lui a donné un insomnie pour qu'il boive. One morning, one of our neighbors in the quarter, he came. When he woke up, the boy said, our where's my phone? He said, Therefore, no more with him. Then I gave it to one of his friends. 
The friend says, you want, uh, I'm your friend and you're stealing my thing. I want my phone. When the boy was talking, he told the boy, I don't talk again. The boy was still talking. He just removed a matchet. If my brother was not there, he would have removed that boy's head in the morning. Elle nous dit qu'un jour, il a volé un téléphone et les gens sont venus en groupe le chercher à la maison. Lorsque ces gens sont arrivés à la maison, il a nié les faits et il était tellement en colère qu'il a pris la machette. Il voulait décapiter la tête d'un de ces gens. Elle ajoute à cela qu'il ne consomme plus la cigarette, il n'est plus têtu et remercie Dieu pour la vie de son frère. So, the life before and the life now, can you explain? The life I was living before, it was really horrible because at times, I even sit down and ask myself that God is giving people blessing of being a, a player, a musician, all sort of stars. Why is it that my own blessing is to be stealing around because... I never had peace. When I sit down, I always be thinking that somebody may come and look for me that I want to catch me or I'm stealing somebody's thing. I never had peace of mind. But now, after the deliverance, I, I sit, I even sleep even, I would just sit like this and I would sleep off. So now I feel, I feel very relieved and, and sound. Love for Jesus. Acclamant for Jesus Christ. My advice to everybody, especially the youth, it hadn't been I had waited on God's time not to follow my friends or follow the advice from my friends. I wouldn't have gone, gotten into all what I have experienced in life. So I'm advising everybody watching me or hearing my voice that God's time is the best. There's no, other, there's no person, there's no one on earth as great as Jesus Christ. So if you have any problem, don't take it to Marabu or whatsoever. Run on to Jesus Christ, for he is the author and finisher of our faith. Alors, il conseille ses amis et les téléspectateurs que le temps de Dieu est le meilleur, que si vous avez un problème, il faut courir très vite vers l'éternel, qu'il ne faut pas chercher les alternatives chez les marabouts, que Jésus-Christ est le Tout-Puissant. So, make Jesus Christ your choice. Faites de Jésus-Christ votre choix. If you make Jesus Christ your choice, let me see your hand. Si tu fais de Jésus-Christ ton choix, que je vois ta main.